Hi everyone, welcome back. So in the previous video, we talked about basic introduction about use effect hook and we wrote some examples how it works. Okay, now we will extend our example and we'll see a little more advanced thing what we can do with use effect hook. Okay, this was the body of use effect hook. So we'll try to see what else we can do. Okay, so we were talking about that uh, we can actually make an API call through use effect hook. So what, what are the options we can use to make an API call, right? So this is use effect hook. Can we do something like this? Like if you wanted to use async await in a, our program, like this is async function, right? And here we, I'm going to make an API call, const response, which is coming from some API call. Const response is coming from so await fetch because if you are using async then you have to write await for the method api call and this is the url you might be getting the url from somewhere okay and here uh, we got the response we are just going to set data and we are just calling the response or we have to actually write one more promise to get the response const result equal to await response.json I mean this is how fetch works fetch is a native browser API here we have RES so we are getting result and we are setting this result to the set data right but the problem is when I try to run this uh, let's put some valid URL uh, this URL can be of type anything. It can be like you are getting some dummy country JSON, some uh, defined user JSON. But when you are trying to trying to run this, you will get a problem, right? Because huge effect hook expecting actually data and what this is returning, this is async function, right? So you are expecting a promise here. So that's why you will get an error. So what is the right way to write async await logic for your uh, use effect hook. So what you can do is if I just try to run this Then okay URL is not defined for now you can just make it as a constant string Okay, uh, doesn't need a props you can wait here so you can see Leave the sign value never use these are just a warnings compiled with warning that is fine. So if you try to run this, I mean we need to put a proper URL. But why this will not work? Because this use effect is expecting a promise, right? But this is not how use effect works. So what you can do is you can use use effect, no issues. But you can just make a call, method call from here, like get data. You don't need to make this function async in this particular case. It can be a simple function and get data can be your async function written somewhere outside async get data this is async function we have and this get data will actually give us all the required things like which we have written const response await fetch result and set data result right so this is the right way of making an api call through use effect hook. If you try to make it as a sync await function, then it will not work. Now it is a simple plain and simple API call by calling this method. So whenever the change is happening in the use effect, it will actually pass it. So consider that uh, we are passing some kind of a search string. Okay, I will just mock it for now. HTTP local host. Okay, this is the port and data search key equal to okay and here you are passing key okay this is a kind of url you are passing and you are actually searching for based on this key so how can we actually pass this changed key every times right so what we can do is we can have a some kind of uh, hook here which will pass this data key and set key and use state and we initialize this key with empty value. Now, here we can have some kind of input text field. 
input type text and on change of that what you can do is you can actually do this set key method and we'll update this with e dot target dot value here you need to pass the event object okay and value for this is key right so whenever you type something whatever the value we have we wanted to pass it to this particular function we wanted to get the latest search results based on whatever you are searching in the keyword so it's like you are passing that search keyword as a query parameter in this api call and every time like github search you are typing something as a github username you are able to see the data right so same thing we are trying to implement here we are passing that as query parameter so when you change anything we are updating key right so that key we can pass as a dependency so what will happen now whenever the key changing this get data will trigger and it will make an api call right here you can do a lot of other checks also like key dot length should be minimum three key should be there and key dot length should be greater than and equal to three then only i want i would like to make an api call to this get data so initially uh, we will have this result as an empty this data we have initialized as an empty so nothing will be there but when you type three characters it will actually fetch the data by passing this okay so basic example but this is how we can do it so we can call use effect method by changing the state and passing that as a dependency here there can be other dependencies also key value value might be another parameter which is getting changed due to something and we want to pass this value also for make, making an API call like uh, page number here you can just pass another argument as page right here I am getting two things key and page key and page I am passing key and page number so similarly I can say okay this is my page so I have I can have a two things in the state my page number initialized with zero the so same thing whatever we have done with key set page so I mean you initialize it with zero with some method like change page here we can have one button so when you do on click on to this button what we are doing is we wanted to update the page number we will just increase the page number by one so what we are doing is uh, we have to get the previous state so set page page plus one sorry for this typo page plus one right now page number is keeps increasing page number will change so either you are changing the key or the page number anything is getting changed here i mean minimum uh, character length should be three only and the page number should be provided that then only we will be able to search so we are passing the page number at zero one two three so this is how the use effect is used in real applications you should always make sure that you are not passing too many dependencies otherwise like for every change you are actually making an api call using use effect hook okay thanks everyone